All right, boys, welcome back to the Black Clover Mall video. This new world is a character I'm really looking forward to coming out of the game. We should be dropping next season, which is why I am not summoning. If you lot don't know, I'm currently right now in Japan, so that's why I can't even summon. I might do a few something when I get back from Japan on the 25th, but this is a character that I am waiting for, and she should be dropping alongside this Charmy. And if we look at our tier list right now, actually... People have her at S plus next to Julius, so it shows how powerful he is. Julius is a festival where this is just a seasonal uh, character you can get for free as well. And also Charmy's there too, so a uh, really good banner summon on. And also not that, I think it's probably buy for her best outfit might be the best outfit in the game so far really like design here and also if you do pay attention when she kind of moves you kind of do you get to see some uh yeah but yeah you can see her skills here she's actually pretty good and you can kind of see why she's also gonna be a really good counter towards other summoner worlds because you out i mean julius is a good counter towards the world but this one just outright counters her so uh first skill you can see here magic reduction applying down to julius or the world is like Insane. Also taunt. So Noel, this is guaranteed by the way. You're not gonna chance to taunt. Noel literally cannot use a actual her barrier because you're taunting her, right? Also, this is insane too. Inflicts SP minus one. So this is towards all of the ultimates. You're gonna reduce the ultimate gauge by one. And this is single target, by the way, but it still applies towards all enemies. And if you have a skill page, you also block HP recovery, which is just like guarantee assurance that they can't do nothing. So you can see right now if we use this really good animation too, we're going to actually taunt magic lower and also all the SP is reduced by one. Skill one, you can actually minus one SP, but also extend debuff duration. I mean, Lotus does that on the actual uh, tier two skill and like that's why he's so good, right? Noel can do that on a, on a tier one. I mean, look, you can see you just keep on stacking up the magic lowers. It is insane. And then the ultimate inflicts minus free sp remove all buffs bear in mind i don't i know that doesn't count for barriers because barrier isn't a buff but you can actually remove i believe the buff she applies with the counter so the blessing of protection so she won't have the counter also disarm so you get the actual um what's it reduced damage or reduced uh, damage and then look at the passes as well at the start of battle this is when you get the character lr so everyone gets this for free at the start of the battle inflicts four percent damage reduction dealt debuff onto an attacker class enemy which is uh what you see here she he has got that uh, debuff lower and when you do awaken the character the two star obviously five star as well you're going to inflict a 30 percent increased damage taken debuff on all enemies so she's like what an insane kit like generally insane not only does she look good she also is good too and uh this one's a little kind of a, a to be fair didn't even need to be here but it is when attacked remove continuous hp recovery buff from all enemies so uh it's not really taken off too much but the mono blue team which to be fair probably will get taken off more when we do get the new uh the new charlotte coming out or well, should be out right now because you want to use mono blue so that swimsuit charmy is going to get countered like crazy against this noel i also noticed her speed's actually really good 112 it's um Higher than the base, Noel. So you're always going to start in front of her, basically. Unless you bring like, another magic buffer. Uh, but generally, yeah, her magic uh, speed's really good. All right, we'll try it, might as well. So uh, I've been testing out what she does. Because she's kind of confused me a little bit. But I, th I think I know what she does now fully. So the minus one SP she does AoE on her skill too is good. But when you lower them from eight to seven, when they start... They get eight. So uh, it's not too good, I would say, at the start of the actual match because uh, they're always going to get the ultimate anyway. But it's more or less that middle ground when they're actually still trying to, you know, rush towards the next ultimate. It's still going to be good there. So not a bad one to do. I mean, once again, I think the main you should get it from it. One, the actual magic lower and also the taunt on the well. So uh, you'll see right now, yeah, boom, we're going to taunt up here. So she has the magic lower, reduced damage dealt, and also, uh, yeah, has the, the taunt. So you can't even use her actual uh, tier two. But she probably will use the ultimate. So I am going to reset her right now. So next turn, we can actually lower or increase the debuff duration. We do AOE with Asta. Probably got a few counter attacks here. This is like fully maxed out tier team as well, by the way. Okay, who's he attacking? Julius. And um, we still have the res. Buff up our attack here. Yeah, so she does all the debuffs on. It's kind of crazy. Uh, so I could just extend them. I want to see. I want to see her use the ultimate. Plus, we lowered one SP there as well. So she went from eight to seven. Can we reset stamina? So she can't ult now as well. That's actually kind of cool a little bit. Let's see what she does right now. I'm gonna let her attack. 
Yeah, so she can't use her ultimate because we lowered it by two. And then also, uh, we torn her, so she can't even use her shield. So you can kind of see why this Noel is going to be so good in the future. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, we're in actually uh, our anti-magic form right now. Remove his buffs if you had any, I'm not too sure. Oh, yeah, removed it there. Okay, so Noel, now she can use the ultimate. Almost got a whole team there. Okay, okay. I played with, I played with it for too long now, actually. Okay, we lost. All right, well, you know what? I... I we did it for content. I wanted to test it out. I could have killed, obviously, no one when I could, but I wanted to see how it played out. But yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll go again. We'll do what I would, I guess, do if I was actually trying to play the game properly and uh, not play with a food a little bit. So yeah, we taught us if you can't obviously use um, the skill. I'll probably ult her as well, actually. Yeah, got the guarantee kill. So maybe I wouldn't ult with... Um, no, I guess it's still fine because we might have one SP'd. So what we can do now is reset the Lotus, actually, to where he's now... Got seven ult gauge, and then next turn we can actually lower the tier one. I'm a torn up with Yami as well. Yeah, Julius and the Noel combo is gonna be sick because while you can lower the one SP through the tier two, they can still get it next turn. And then boom, right now, what we do is literally just uh, yeah, minus SP on the actual uh, skill one here, so he can cannot use ultimate, he's on six now. So next turn he takes, he's gonna be a seven. So yeah, really, really good to kind of stop someone from using ultimate. Uh, we'll get the guaranteed kill here. Ass is now an anti-magic, so this will probably need to get the kill. ASP there. See, he's forced to actually use the combine attack because he couldn't use uh, the ultimate. Okay, got my ass to kill there. Yo, this, this lowers his cooking, you know. Lower the SP, because why not? Minus S3 SP. So yeah, honestly, Julius and her are going to be like such a good team together. Because uh, just keep on lowering SP is going to be so good. Okay, so my final game is not really a full-on PP showcase because the character, I've not really invested too much into her. I mean, she's not even got any talents, not got any good gear on, uh, but she's doing all right in terms of like a little bit of DPS as well. Uh, so right now, we are going to probably use this on Julius. Make sure we can't actually us here. Uh, then I'm going to actually hopefully kill the Noel. Yeah, we killed a nice, and then we can just reset the Julius stamina. Uh, so, yeah, making Julius almost useless as well, since he can no longer ult here, and also not, barely even attack us as well. Plus, he's still got an attack lower too. Uh, I'm going to use... We'll use the AoE, get the increased damage. Uh, well, not increased damage, the, the defense up, basically. Okay, attack Julius. Julius did basically nothing there. But yeah, I do like it though, because right now in PvP, my main thing is simply... Oh, we killed as well. Uh, my main thing right now is literally... Oh, we stunned. Okay. Uh, yeah, my main thing right now is using Radis, for example. Radis is like the best way to make it so that actually Julius Ultimate does no damage. Or like he can't actually stun. And that's like the biggest annoyance right now for me. So uh, the fact that we can bring the well and like kind of stop that is going to be huge. All right. So I don't think he can ult here. I think he can use a combine attack, right? So we'll turn him anyway in case he does. No, we didn't. So now we're in our anti-magic form. Hopefully I can attack here. Uh, we'll lower this. Okay, we're going to have to kill Julius because he might actually kill my ass though. We'll minus one SP. Didn't kill. And our ass is next. Unfortunately, we do not actually have our actual um, AOE because this would have done a lot of damage. But we'll get the kill onto you. Or at least try to, never mind. Okay, Asta luckily went for the Julius. So we can hopefully get a kill here. Didn't. Okay, he targeted one person. Nice. All right, so this is going to get the guarantee. Does this get the guarantee kill? Surely it kills Asta. It didn't kill? <laughs> no way. Okay, well, I can reset his stamina. I don't think I feel my... There's no way I don't have gear my Asta. Yeah, okay, that's a gear diff. I did not gear on him. Ah, I'm thrown. All right, well, anyway, boys, that is going to wrap up to you. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Would have, would have made that a lot easier if I brought gear for him. But regardless, it was just like a little bit of a little Noel showcase and showing you what she kind of does. So you lot know this character is coming and a character you probably want to save for if you're still debating about whether to summon on the new Season 3 banner or just wait in a few more weeks to save for this new character who is definitely going to shake things up too. Not to mention we're going to get Charmy too, who's also another good character. So boys, thank you for watching this video and uh, yeah, peace.